I give up. I don't like what this turned out to be. It's our set. I have this cool uh, jumpsuit for the summer. I bought it a couple of summers ago and I haven't been able to wear it because I think I got the sizing wrong and I, I bought one that's too big. I never sent it back because the feel of the fabric is quite nice. And I like the print, it's a cute little print. Instead of wearing it as a jumpsuit, I could make myself like a pinafore type of dress and um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, <laughs> I've got it on top of all of my clothes, so it's a bit much, but just to show you, how big it is, how much fabric there is. If I close the legs, I could make myself a nice dress. I think it will be loose enough. And then in here, it's quite big, and this is quite, you can see, it will go down quite a lot. So I need to fix this, make it a little bit smaller, and then maybe, um, remove a little bit of the fabric from the sides because it's quite big but yeah you can see there's plenty <laughs> and it's very very long okay so I'm starting for what I think will be the easiest upcycle I've undone the straps of uh, the back of it and I'm gonna try them and measure how much smaller I want them probably something like that. So open this inner seam of the trousers, get rid of the crotch, and then stitch both sides together. And that should do it. This is supposed to be a fairly easy um, upcycled. You can see now it's open. So that's the one leg and the other leg. So I'm gonna follow this seam here, cut the crotch, and then follow all the way down to the bottom. I pin the straps where I want to sew them and uh, I think I might just pinch a little bit here because it's a little bit loose as well but I might do that after I do the skirt. This is the bottom of the trousers. That's one leg, um, that was the other part of the other leg. So what I've done here is I've cut that much to add it to the bottom of my dress. And uh, this is the original uh, hem. So what I've done is recreate a hem of the same size. And then I'm gonna be making like a bit long tube uh, touching. Once I've done the hem in there, attaching them all together, four of them, do the fringe like that for the skirt. I used so many pins to put the pleats on the skirt. I practically use all of my pins. I have three left. So now the fan pins, you stitch them together. this one this is like a very lightweight uh, duster coat or duster jacket it is like a very lightweight rayon uh, and it has like a, this batik kind of a style designs i was thinking i'm i used it only a couple of times it's not something that i wear much uh, but i haven't got rid of for exactly the same reason as always the fabric is amazing i love the feel of it it's very cool to the body so I was thinking one of my favorite dresses of all times is wrap dresses. And I was thinking there's enough fabric here to cross over and maybe do something cool with the sleeves as well because they're a little bit meh, not here nor there. So I'm thinking like a So 
that's what we're doing. The original idea was to literally just cross over and trying to create some kind of like a wrap dress. The problem being the way this thing is being cut, the front panel is being cut, every time I turn it around like that, the armhole tend to kind of pull towards the body and it's not really an easy, as easy as I thought it would be. What I've done is I've taken a pattern out of uh, one of my Buddha magazines so i have been working with this for a few hours last night i left it late and then i came back um, and I was still faffing around with it and not knowing what to do. So the best thing was to just put it down and get the scissors to it and going for it because I didn't know how to get it started. At first, um, it didn't fall as I, want, as I wanted. So I wanted to get a pattern piece and maybe trying to see if I could get it done like that, just using it like fabric. That didn't work out. Then I realized that the neck was too, had a lot of fabric on my neck. And, and when you turn it around, it was like really bulky. So I cut all of that off and I finished the size with uh, a single double turn and a stitch down. Okay, so what I've done is I cut how low I want um, the front to be. I need to tie this end to the other side here to the side and then I've put some ties to tie this end here what I'm gonna do now is this is the fabric from the back I'm gonna cut it in half then fold it together and then trying to go all around the whole blouse and make it longer all around the back it was too much fabric so I've done that like a pleat here and then I'm gonna finish the sleeves like this for now. I'll see how they look. So cutting the fabric in half, put it together and then trying to go all around the bottom and the front of the shirt. So I'm not even sure how much of that I recorded. Um, I have worked on this for hours last night, trying to figure out how to do it. And then this morning I have an idea and then I changed my mind. And I didn't follow what I thought I would do. And uh, I give up. I don't like what this turned out to be. Doesn't fit nice. I uh, don't think it looks good. And um, I'm giving up. Last night I thought I could manipulate the garment and make it into a wrap dress or a wrap top. I was very stubborn. Instead of using a pattern, I thought, oh, I just fold it and uh, I make a nice top. One of the problems I think I had was that the top of the um, garment wasn't cut on the grain. It was cut on a kind of, not even on a bias. It was kind of in a weird shape. And, um, and so it's, it was difficult to manipulate with the kind of a peplum part or the skirt part of the top. As a result, I, I don't like how it fits. I, I don't even, I've been... I tried a couple of times now and I'm trying to fix the waist and I'm just tired and bored. And I think sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I've definitely learned a lot of stuff making this. First of all was I should have followed my idea, my original idea, which was to use a pattern, a, a commercial pattern and just use for the front. Uh, and I didn't do that. Uh, but the second one is the, to be careful with the grain of the top, um, how the fabric is cut in the first place. I'm kind of feeling tired and I'm done with it. <laughs> Maybe I put this away until I forget how frustrating it was for me. And I might pick it up in the future again because it's a lovely fabric and it will be nice to use. But um, yeah, so sometimes you win some and you lose some. Uh, this time around was a 50 50. 
I like the first one and I hate the second one. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you could come and uh, see what I'm doing, my wins and my lose. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.